Since its introduction in 1962, the American CH-47 Chinook heavy lift helicopter has been a critical backbone of combat support, carrying troops, supplies, tanks, and even other aircraft into war zones. Its capabilities as a military transport are nearly unmatched and are well known, but its surprising versatility has also seen it deployed in secret missions around the world. The Chinook has played a role in a number of classified operations, including in the daring theft of a state-of-the-art Soviet helicopter during the Cold War and in the raid to capture Osama bin Laden. It is rumored that a classified stealth version of the helicopter may have been used in the bin Laden raid, giving a tantalizing glimpse at potential Black Project upgrades that could keep the Chinook flying well into the future. Vertol Model 107 In the mid-1950s, the U.S. Army began looking for a replacement for the Sikorsky CH-37 Mojave transport helicopters. Over 150 units had been produced, and the rotorcraft had not delivered the desired performance expected by the Army and the Marines. In 1957, the Army issued a formal replacement requirement for several contractors. One of them was Vertol Aircraft Company, a helicopter manufacturer based in Philadelphia. The company, originally owned by Frank Piasecki, had established itself in the market with the banana-shaped two-rotor helicopter in 1945. By the time the Army issued the request, Vertol had been developing a new tandem rotor helicopter design, internally dubbed the Model 107 or V-107 design. The rotorcraft would feature a new turbine-powered platform, which immediately attracted the Army's attention. In addition, Vertol assured the service that its V-107 design could fulfill the transport duties of the Mojave with increased cargo capacity and never-before-seen speeds. In 1958, the Army awarded the company a contract to produce three V-107 prototypes, which were then designated YHC-1A. However, after testing the model, the Army deemed the helicopter too heavy for an assault role and too light for a transport role. Even so, the U.S. Marines decided to use the YHC-1A as a tactical troop transport, eventually turning it into the refined CH-46 Sea Knight in 1962. Not satisfied with the results, the Army asked Vertol to develop an enlarged version of the same design to see if it could at least fulfill the troop and cargo transport role. The updated design was dubbed Model 114 and designated YCH-1B in 1959. A significant shift then affected the development plans in 1960, as Boeing bought the company and provided additional resources and knowledge. Even so, the Boeing Vertol YCH-1B prototype had its maiden flight on September 21, 1961, and it did not disappoint. The CH-47 Chinook Following the 1962 United States Tri-Service Aircraft Designation System, the YCH-1B was redesignated CH-47 by the Army. It was also named Chinook, in honor of the Native American Chinook people from the states of Washington and Oregon, and it entered service in August of 1962. The aircraft had a gross weight of 33,000 pounds, an approximate length of 50 feet, a height of 18 feet, and a width of 60 feet, but its main innovation was two 2200-horsepower Lycoming T-55 turboshaft engines, each of which was mounted on one side of the helicopter's rear pylon. In addition, the Chinook was easily identifiable for its twin main rotor design. The two rotors were arranged as counter-rotating units, eliminating the need for a tail rotor unit. Each rotor used a three-bladed assembly seated atop mast mountings, and the rear rotors were placed higher to prevent collision and clear the area around the helicopter for ground personnel. Besides its rotors, the Chinook was also easily identifiable due to its tubular shape. The fuselage was dotted with vision ports and featured a cargo door with a ramp at the rear, while the cockpit was located forward and provided an excellent view for the two pilots. Notably, the Chinook had a fixed four-legged undercarriage system and could carry up to 55 armed men or over 15,000 pounds of equipment. Additionally, an external cargo hook located in the fuselage's middle section allowed the Chinook to carry additional cargo, such as supplies, artillery pieces, or even jeeps. The primary purpose of the Chinook was to ferry supplies, but it was also prepared for CASAVAC, or casualty evacuation roles, excelling as such at the outbreak of the Vietnam War. The Chinook in Action 
Over 160 Chinook helicopters were delivered in February of 1966 to the 1st Cavalry Division, which formed the 1st Chinook Battalion. The helicopters were given the pivotal yet dangerous task of delivering artillery pieces to remote fire bases on top of mountains, where air delivery was the only way to supply soldiers and marines with food and ammunition. While carrying out the operations, the crewmen reduced the Chinook's maximum lift by more than 20% due to the heat and humidity of the Vietnamese landscape. Given the intensity of the firefights around fire bases and outposts, the American soldiers also improvised and mounted M60 machine guns on the helicopter's two forward doors to fend off Viet Cong and North Vietnamese attackers. Such a necessity led Boeing Vertol to introduce the upgraded CH-47B during the last months of 1966. The upgrades came from the demands of the servicemen and featured mountings for an M60 or M2 machine gun at the two side doors and one at the rear cargo door. In addition, more powerful T-55I-7C engines ensured the Chinook could lift as much weight as possible despite the heat and humidity. As the war in Vietnam escalated, the Army increased its Chinook fleet to 21 companies. Besides its cargo role, the Chinook also rose in importance after excelling in search and rescue, gas evac, and aircraft recovery roles. To carry out these operations, the Chinooks would usually be escorted by Cobras to retrieve men and downed aircraft located deep within enemy territory, infested with hostile forces. Gunship Chinooks The introduction of the CH-47C in 1967 and 1968 increased the Chinook's weight capability to over 46,000 pounds and improved its performance with more powerful engines. This made it easier for the Chinooks to retrieve downed aircraft and ferry heavier equipment to soldiers and marines at isolated bases. Four Chinooks were modified as gunship variants during the war and were fitted with additional armor, two fixed forward M2 cannons, a 40mm grenade launcher, five 50 caliber machine guns on the sides, and two weapon pods for Vulcan miniguns. These gunships were effectively employed during the war, but never produced due to their elevated maintenance costs. By the time the Vietnam War ended, over 750 Chinooks had been deployed in combat. Of them, 200 were lost to enemy fire and anti-air countermeasures. Even so, it is said that during the evacuation of Saigon in 1975, one Chinook managed to carry over 147 refugees in a single lift. Stealing a Soviet gunship During the last years of the Cold War, the U.S. prepared a unique classified operation with the elite 160th Special Operations Aviation Regiment. It was codenamed Operation Mount Hope 3, and the objective was to extract a Soviet Mi-25D helicopter from the African country of Chad. The Mi-25 was the export designation for the powerful Mi-24 Hind. The mission was set to begin on May 21, 1988. According to the intelligence gathered, the Soviet gunship had been abandoned at Awadi Doom alongside other equipment after the Libyan army, led by Muammar Gaddafi, was expelled by the Chadians. With approval from the Chadian government, the U.S. launched the operation after performing several tests, concluding that an MH-47D Chinook could successfully carry the Soviet gunship. In June, two MH-47D Chinooks from Company E of the 160th Special Operations Aviation Regiment arrived at N'Djamena, the Chadian capital. The 75-plus personnel quickly got to work and flew over 500 miles from the capital to the Aouzou Strip, escorted by French Mirage F-1 fighter jets. The weather peaked at over 130 degrees Fahrenheit at the site, but with the Soviet gunship firmly slung, the task force immediately left for the Chadian capital. During the journey back, a massive sandstorm forced the two Chinooks to fly at over 50 miles per hour to stay within visual range of each other. Once back, the Chinooks and their valuable prize were loaded into the C-5 transport, completing one of the first successful missions of the Elite 160th. A Glimpse into the Future For the classified Operation Neptune Spear, or Osama bin Laden's raid in May of 2011, the U.S. employed three modified Blackhawks and two Chinooks. These are said to have been unique stealth variants of the helicopters explicitly tailored for the mission. Although there is no photo or video evidence of the stealth Chinooks possibly employed during the Bin Laden raid, there are speculations that they are out there, 
and it's believed no standard Chinooks could have been involved in the operation without modifying them for silent infiltration in a combat zone. Retired Army Chief Warrant Officer 5, Douglas Englin, recounted that his Chinook was engaged three times by a Pakistani F-16 Viper during the operation, confirming that the helicopter was actively used during the raid. Several military analysts and engineers have sketched how the stealth Chinooks might look by applying the same modifications used for one of the crashed stealth Blackhawks. However, nothing more is known about the model, which may indicate that U.S. forces may still be employing it for secret operations around the world. Thank you for watching our video. Please like and subscribe to our Dark Documentaries channels to find more exciting historical content. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified of our newest videos. Stay tuned.